Good morning. So I've got to make two more of these shelves right here. Uh, reason being, I've got to make two more is on the left and the right of the sink requires two of these each. What did I do? I ended up making one for each side. Just didn't look at the drawing right. So I've got. To, I'm going to show you quickly how to make something up. Uh, especially like now I'm in a rush to get these things done because I have to get them done today, have to get them in the booth because tomorrow I'm going to be spring and I got a ton of other stuff that I got to make to get this in the booth. So I'm going to show you a very quick way on how to make this type of shelving. Okay, so my shelf here is 19 and a quarter by 12 by 2 inches thick. So I cut every piece one thirty-second of an inch wider, longer, and so on like that. And for that two-inch piece, it's going to be just over two and a, and just under two and a sixteenth. Little tip uh, when you're running pieces like this that are long uh, this hand here that's pushing the the end that's coming loose off of the saw very minimal pressure this one is doing all the work this one is just guiding it along you do not want to push on that or you're going to get a kickback so set saw for 45 And that's actually 45 uh, and a half degrees. I always go just a little bit. So I've set my saw, so this is actually tilting just a little bit more. There we go. So you can see that I've got my saw here where uh, my fence, I, I can do almost, uh, I think, 30 inches on my left side of the saw here. This way I can still have a standard right hand tilt to uh, saw and it works perfectly fine for that. So all I do is I just sight it like this until I get it close and now I'm going to be checking it. And I just want to be taking off just a minute amount right there. All I'm taking off is that 32nd of an inch that I added to the length of it. I'm also going at a nice controlled feed rate. Thank you. 
I've got, I've got two left and two right, meaning I've got the mitered front for one of the sides for either the left or the right. And so I'm going to be cutting this miter, but then two of them will have to be this way because you need a bottom and a top, of course, right? So you think just eyeball that so you get it close. Got it. Two with the miter going this way. Miter going that way. Next, front edge. You see it's got a bit of a bow in it. I don't know if you can see that here, but uh, that means you just got to hold it down when you're running it through. That's nice and sharp all the way across. Now you can see when you're running this thing through what happens is when you release your hand pressure on this thing, you can see it wants to pull away from the fence. So you do have to hold that back on this side when you push this all the way through. So I need a couple of supports in the middle and you measure what's left after you've mitered two inside pieces here. And I am at one and one sixteenth. So I got to cut a couple of pieces of plywood just to go inside that core right there, just to make sure that when I glue this all up, everything stays at its thickness. Time to miter the ends on this. Miter four ends, that's what you need. And then you're gonna cut these pieces long. So if it's 19 and a quarter, make them 19 and a half by 12 and a quarter or anything more than that. Just get them approximate. Well, 
go. All right, so this is just packing tape. This is a premium quality stuff. I buy a little bit higher quality than, uh, than just buying that cheap stuff that, well, breaks all the time. Anyways, just snap off pieces. Get yourself a straight edge like this. And all I do is just push my pieces tight up to it, like that. And then put a piece of tape on it. Like so. Remember that whole length right there. Okay, same thing. Put that up against. Pull it in tight. That's it. Flip it over. There. And then I got a couple of these little sticks here. And all they are for is that support. And I want it back around an inch from my front edge here, or sorry, my back edge here, because I'm going to be putting a cleat along the wall, and I don't want this interfering with it. And then I need one on the end. There we go. And I'm going to put this one almost tight to the end here. That there. Okay. Reason being is I'm going to be putting a screw in through a panel at this point into my gable. So I want that so that I don't have to put a super long screw into it. Okay. All right. Now I hit my thing, take off any debris. Like so. First thing you want to do is pull, pull your front edge forward. So I stick it and then pull. And if you cut these things properly, it just fits together beautifully. Clean up as much of the glue as you can, because this is a veneered product here. Okay, and you can see I'm pulling it back this way. Now this one I'm pulling it a little bit down. There we go. That's it. Just going to put one little clamp on here. And done. Little uh, word to the wise, make sure you take the tape off of your, your wood here after, oh, about no more than an hour after it's set up. Just that if you leave it on uh, overnight, especially on these open porous woods like this, maple not so much, but uh, definitely on white oak and walnut and that kind of thing, it'll actually pull the grain right into the tape. Like even here, you can just barely see it's pulling some of the, uh, the fibers off of the wood onto the tape. So make sure you get it off as quick as possible. Next thing you want to do is you want to burnish these corners just slightly. So get yourself a screwdriver. They make burnishing tools for it, but 
I don't have one. Screwdriver works just fine. And all you're doing is just rolling. Rolling that edge just over a little bit. Not hard. And just look at what you're doing. You just want to push that those fibers into the other the other piece that's adjacent to it. Just fills in any little crack or gap. And on the end. That's it. Just a quick sand and it's ready for the booth. If you want to cut the ends off and you don't have, like what I have here, a rolling panel saw, get a piece of scrap somewhere around the same thickness as what you got here. Extend it past your other fence. Just put it up to it. I just push with my stomach until I get it right roughly about where it is. There we go. Nicely cut off. There we go. Just sand 150, get the bulk off. for the booth realistically 15 minutes that's all it should take to make something like this in my shop here so that's always my expectation when I do something like this it's like okay I know how long this actually takes but that if you're working in my shop I'd give you maybe 20 minutes all right have a good one